Here we are on the night before we break ground on our house. We've had this property for two years. All that time we've lived in a yurt, which is 314 square feet for five people. Now we see if we can get a better living situation without losing the things we love about our life. Tomorrow morning we have a guy with a backhoe coming to start dirt work on the foundation of our house. It's going to be a house. We're building a timber framed cabin. Um, most of the lumber will be from trees uh, right from our property milled by me. We're hoping to get dried in uh, before the snow falls this year. So we have probably three or so months from right now. We've been pretty stressed. Nick is under a lot of pressure to build all this himself. And I just feel like I might have our version of buyer's remorse. You know, I really like our yurt and this is a big change. So I had set up uh, uh, batter boards and string lines, uh, thinking that we could just dig with the, with the uh, site as it was. Um, but one end was really uh, low and the other end was really high. So tomorrow we're going to actually take a big chunk of the hillside out which opens up our driveway a little bit. We're going to use that uh, fill dirt to level out the whole site before we start digging for the foundation. Uh, yeah, so we took a big chunk of the hillside out to um, generate enough dirt to level the home site. Got the home site nice and level, so we don't have a bunch of silly filling to do afterwards. Here we're on day two, and Nick is definitely a little more relaxed. He likes working better than thinking about working. He's painting on the newly leveled home site on day two for the same friend, neighbor, and professional backhoe operator to dig our foundation. So what stage are we at? Uh, well, we're all dug. Um, and we're ready for the concrete guy to come on Monday. It's Friday, so we're doing pretty good. I'm a little tired. I just um, cleaned up all the corners and did the little notches for where piers are going to land and everything. I don't love to shovel. Um, under each post of our post and beam house, um, there's a large concrete pier, and so the trench needs to be a little bit bigger than where just the stem wall is. Uh, tomorrow I go back to milling lumber. There's still some pieces I need um, in order to cut joinery for the frame. Is it worth it to build your own house? I'm enjoying it so far. We'll see when we get the, in there, I guess. Fouchomatic Off Grid is a project of Nick Fouch and Esther Emery and our kids. Say hi, kids. Hi. hi. Hello. Stick with us. We hope to see uh, to show you every step of a DIY off grid cabin. Thanks for watching.